Hello everyone, in this video we'll be showing you how to use the Invest Carbon Storage and Sequestration model. Similar to the other models, we need to first navigate to the Cities in NATO homepage. Click Invest and the introduction of Invest as well as the details for each of the four models will appear. Click Carbon Sequestration and if there's any variable that you don't quite understand, you can check out the glossary section. For example here, we've listed out some of the variables that you may not be very familiar with, like LULC and REDD. So you can check out this section before moving on to the data requirement section. So simply click the data requirement section and essentially this is a list of key input that is required to run the model. Everything you need can be found in this table, for example, current LULC, carbon poles, future LULC, current LULC year, etc. So here you can see there are some variables that are required, whereas some are optional. The required variables can be downloaded directly in a zip file. For the optional ones, you can choose to enter your own value. The numbers listed here are suggested values only. So at the bottom of the table, you will click the link which will direct you to see the files for all four models. In this case, uh, let's download the carbon storage and sequestration file. So the files we are using in this demo video are for the central region only. For central area and Queenstown, you'll need to download the other corresponding files. So once you've downloaded the file, please always remember to extract the files before uploading them into the invest model. Uh, inside the folder, there is current LULC, future LULC, workspace and carbon pools. These correspond to the entries inside Invest. Open Invest and you can see all the different models here. Let's click the Carbon Storage and Sequestration model. And now we can start uploading the input files. The first one would be Workspace. Uh, click the folder icon and select the file that is named as workspace and we can move on to the next entry. The next entry is current LULC. So similarly, you will find the folder that is named as uh, current LULC and choose the TIFF file. For carbon poles, find the file that is named as carbon poles in the format of CSV, upload that file. And for calculate sequestration, the default might be no. Uh, but if you refer to the data requirement table on our website, you should select yes. For future LULC, similarly, upload the file that is named as uh, future LULC in TIFF format. And for the rest, you can refer to the data requirement table to enter the suggested values. So the numbers entered here for uh, current LULC year, future LULC year, price of carbon, etc. These values are suggested values only. You can choose to enter your own values. So. Any variable that is uh, marked as optional, you may choose to enter your own value, but make sure you enter everything before you run the model. Once it's complete, click open workspace and you'll see your results inside the workspace folder. Now to view these results, you'll need to open QGIS Inside the QGIS software, browse the output files under the Carbon Storage and Sequestration Workspace folder and choose the output files to view. 
By default, these pictures might be in grayscale, so you can choose to render them using a desired uh, color combination. Here we have chosen the single band pseudo color, and you may also choose to change the label precision to two decimal places. Okay, once you apply the changes, you'll get a rendered output picture. And similarly, you can do the same for the other output files. For the second output file, you can do the same. Change the colors, change the decimal precision, and apply the changes. And once you've rendered the pictures, you're done. You can interpret the outputs with your teammates. And if there's any other questions, please check out our other demo videos. Thank you.